Well, the idea was to find the best and brightest. Uh, yeah. Lots of times our system rewards those that are having challenges. I, I think let's reward some of those that have done some great things, and that's what this is all about. And uh, They may go away to college, but we want to encourage them to come back and uh, know we want to keep the best and brightest here at the same time. Tell me what you plan to do after high school. Well, I'm going to go to ABC Community College, yes. the honors program there, and transfer to the University of California. Oh, excellent. Yes. And what do you plan, uh, you planned in the future, what you want to do? Something in the medical field. Well, we need, we need more of everything in the medical field. Exactly. It's not a crisis at a time right now. So. Yeah. Well, it's an honor to have you, and congratulations. Thank you. Caster all the way up to Ridgecrest, and then it goes west all the way to San Luis Obispo. And what I do is, um, when I became a member of Congress, I thought, what are the ways to, uh, I don't believe in punishment, but I believe in rewarding good behavior. So it sets as an example to others of how people should uh, try to hold themselves up to. And uh, today, that is what you all are. You are the example for the next generation. And I put together a criteria that I thought this would show achievement. And I didn't want to just go and pick, so I have sent it out to all the principals. So uh, you owe the principals a great deal of thanks, because they, and it's work to them. I want to thank you and uh, for doing this, because you've got to go through. It's not just an easy thing to do, but you have to select one person. And the criteria is one, I wanted to set a criteria that I couldn't win. And I'll be very upfront, I would have never won this award in school. So, <laughs> yeah, at least first have to have a 3.5 GPA or higher. Uh, you have to show leadership skills. Um, you have to be involved in extracurricular activities. You have school citizenship, your volunteerism, and your community service. So, I want to see well-rounded individuals that were the leaders for tomorrow. And my idea here is to reward you, thank you, and then encourage you as you continue your education, um, when you get done, you may go away, you may stay here, but I want you to come back because I think there are great, great opportunities. And I want our best and brightest to continue to be a part of this community and continue to make it better. So that's all what today is about. Well, this is just the beginning of your journey. I have high hopes for all of you. and I ask no requirements of all of you, but one thing I ask. Just don't come back too soon and run against me. <laughs> um, our next recipient comes from uh, Rosamond High School, Jamie Munoz. Jamie has been selected as our um, uh, Meredith valedictorian for the class of 2009. What makes Jamie so special is not only what she does inside the classroom, but outside as well. She participates on our athletic teams and can also be seen at many other events throughout the year to support our school. Jamie is also comes from a strong family and has a tremendous amount of support at home. With her hard work in the classroom and that strong support from home, I have no doubt that Jamie will be a huge success in life after high school. Jamie has a GPA of 4.2, an SAT of 1740. She's been on the cross country team four years, track team four years, a California Scholarship Federation member, key club member, and volunteers for Mills on Wheels program.
please feel free to call the office. Please feel free to call me. And uh, if you need letters or recommendation or you need some encouragement along the way to not give up, give me a call. Because I'm sure your parents have already told you the same, right? When you sit and just listen to these students, you, you realize this country will meet its challenge and even be stronger as the generations grow. So uh, I want to thank all of you for the work you've done through high school. It's not easy and it's not over. Uh, but I want to challenge you to even go further. And remember, this is a great place to live. And you can always come back and raise a family, but you can excel here at the same time. We have a lot of great things to do. So if I can ask you all to come down. Can't see moms. Yeah, when you can't see moms. <laughs> <laughs> Ninth grade, I'll do mine last. Take it for me. You got it? There we go. So this is the Congressional District of California Merit Award. Terrific.